Bridgman here. Uh, around Christmas, I got an Oculus Quest 2, which I guess is now a Meta Quest 2, uh, and I was planning on doing some VR content, uh, but I just haven't been able to get around to it yet. Uh, and then a couple of weeks ago, we were quoted by Walkabout Mini Golf uh, in regards to their new upcoming uh, collaborations uh, with Jim Henson's Labyrinth uh, and Mist. And it made me think, you know what? Uh, well, I don't think I, my computer's strong enough to stream it live. Uh, I could record some content uh, and do some uh, 18 hole courses for you. So this is the first one of them. Uh, this is the very first uh, basic course uh, that comes in the game. Uh, and so we'll head over there and check out how uh, Walkabout Mini Golf plays. See you over there. All right, so here we are in uh, Walkabout Mini Golf. Uh, as you can see, there are, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we've got eight of the uh, regular courses that come with the game for free. Uh, and then I also have the three DLC. Each course has 18 holes, uh, followed by uh, not only 18 holes, but once you complete the first 18 holes, uh, you have a hard course of each one. Uh, those are usually some, most times night courses. Uh, but they are a little harder. Uh, today we are going to play Tourist Trap. Uh, we are going to play a full 18 holes. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, this is the old entryway uh, into Walkabout Mini Golf. Uh, there used to there is now an updated version uh, where you can roam around. Uh, it has like a 38 hole putting green. Uh, but for some reason, my computer did not want to update to the new version uh, for the purpose of recording. Uh, I have been playing with it on my Oculus, or I guess on my Meta Quest 2. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna check out uh, Tourist Trap. Uh, this is the first 18 hole uh, course. And I'll kind of give you a feel of uh, what we've got going on. So this is Tourist Trap. Uh, it is a perfect kind of uh, mountainous uh, island. Uh, if you hit the A button, you can actually get a full overview of kind of everything that's around. You can uh, take a look at all the holes. You can go to certain holes. Um, and then obviously you have your uh, play with one controller uh, rules here. Uh, but we're gonna start with hole number one. So we will resume game. Uh, to move about, you can use, either use the joystick uh, to move to wherever you want, uh, which is what I do. Or if you have room scale on, you can actually move about pretty well or uh, you can hit the trigger, and it'll move you right to the ball. Uh, so this is hole number one. I'm gonna hit the trigger again, so it kind of puts it. That's actually, I'm gonna have to walk over here for it. That's okay. Uh, and we will swing away. Uh, on the back of your hand, you're always gonna have uh, what hole you're on, uh, the par, uh, the strokes for the round, uh, and then your overall round score. So we'll go ahead and putt away for hole number one. Not a hole in one. Uh, so we'll let it come to rest. All right, there's the ball. And of course using the uh, Canadian golf ball uh, for our friend Marky Mark. And there we are. So we are in for par. Uh, and again, if you hit the trigger button, uh, it will automatically send you to the next hole. So as soon as you have kind of two routes, you can go down here uh, to the left or around to the right. I like to go to the left just to try for the hole in one, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Off the rock. That's close enough. It's not too bad. Hit the trigger and head over to my ball. Uh, and I'll show you a couple of things uh, in this game specifically. I found a lot of them so far, but there are like hidden balls uh, throughout the course uh, that you can find, and they will allow you uh, to add new balls to your game. All right, so we were in for par. Uh, so we were even after two, and we will move on to number three. Let me go ahead and do this. So we'll kind of jump around um, to where we need to go. So you can actually still jump uh, to your ball this way. All right, this is hole number three. Now we're gonna try and bank it off that plank of wood. Oh, we missed the wood completely. Oh, it's not gonna lose for a pretty good second shot. Uh, 
Uh, so we are going uh, to give it a go. I know I have my back to the screen, but it is what it is. Uh, all right. For oh, we missed. That's okay. Give it another go here. I'm trying to go too fast at this point. I'm trying to go too fast at this point. Alright. I got a bogey. They got some small soft claps for me. Uh, but we'll move on to hole number four. Uh, so this is a hole where you've got four different paths. Uh, and we want to end up uh, you can't really see it, um, but we want to. There's a little pathway right there on the right, so we're gonna go down this left one because it looks like it goes across to the right. Um, I mean, there's obviously good, good, uh, good places to play and bad places to play, but we'll see how it goes. Oh no! I have, that should put us in a decent position. We'll wait till we get down there. Uh, all right, so there's the ball. I mean, it could be better. Um, there's a pathway. See, obviously, that left one would have gone up and across uh, and gone through here and gotten closer. But we've had worse shots. Okay. So we will find the ball. Give it a nice little putt. And we are in for par. Uh, and we will uh, try now at hole number five. So we are one over for the round. Uh, we do need to try and hit this plank of wood here. Did we hit it this time? Not hard enough. Usually I give it a little more effort than that, but I mean, it could be worse. There we go. Go down. Did not get the line I wanted. But that's okay. Step in here. And we'll take par. Alright, so through uh, five holes with plus one, so we move on to hole six. Uh, Alright, so we will kind of give it a go here. We actually want to turn and kind of go off of one of these rocks over here. Give a little oomph. Still not enough. I feel like I'm not giving it enough juice, but it's okay. Alright. Well, we're in. Look at that. Fireworks for the birdie. And we move on to hole number seven. Uh, Alright, we've got two little holes that we can uh, try and hit the ball into. And they come out of two different, um, two different uh, tubes. Uh, so we're going to try and hit the far one down here. See how that goes. Well, I get the bounce. And I will not get the bounce, but that's okay. I don't know why I tried to do it with one hand. That was a terrible idea. Uh, we've got a decent bounce. All right, so I'll go right here and I'll show you. So this little blue uh, dot right here is where a, uh, a secret ball used to be. I've already found this one. Um, and uh, they come in all kind of uh, shapes and not all different shapes, but they come in all different designs. All right, hole number eight. All right. I'm gonna me off to the side here. I think this is just the way I have my guardian set up, but. Um, all right, so we are in here. We'll get back to where we need to be. I'm gonna have to kind of ride this line here. Get in, get in. A little soft. We will tap in for birdie here. And we will go on to hole number nine. Is there a secret ball over here anywhere? Nope, I don't see one. All right, hole number nine. This is a tricky hole, uh, as we are gonna try and hit it across here. Stay up, there we go. Very nice. Birdie for that one. Uh, so we are at hole. We're about to go hole number 10. We are 200 par. Uh, and this one, 
I can either hit it in this hole, or I can try to hit it really hard around. We're going to obviously try and hit it in the, in the, in the small one here, in the front hole. Did we give it enough? We did. All right. So now it's going to spit out, cause that hole in one. So close to a hole in one. All right. So yeah, there's the little hop over there. So there's the chute it hopped out of and took this line through here. Um, yeah, we'll take the birdie here, which I'm assuming is a birdie. It is a birdie, because I get my fireworks. It says birdie on the screen. Uh, as we move on to hole number 11, uh, this is going to be uh, down. Uh, got to hit enough to get through the trench, uh, but not too hard to go crazy. Not bad. I'll take it. Birdie. Hole number 12. We are now four under. Uh, so it looks like there are multiple paths here. Um, I'll go ahead and scoot up and kind of show you. Uh, so obviously there is one path uh, that goes down to this area over here. Hey there, message. Uh, we've got another path that's going to go down here to the middle. That's the one we want to hit. And obviously we hit it too short. It's going to come down to the right. Uh, I don't really think there's a bad... Hello. Uh, I don't think there's a really bad path. All right, but we have the good one. All right, and there we go. Good enough for birdie. Moving on to hole number 13. This is a tricky one. It's not as bad uh, because you do have a little guardrail right here. Uh, but we do need to try to hit it up and around uh, with enough force to kind of get it moving. Here we go. All right, there it goes. That will, uh, not a bad bounce back. Not a bad bounce back. So we're not too far out. Oh, spun around the lip, but we got it. And we move on to this next hole. This is exciting. Uh, I like this hole, hole number 14. Uh, I mean, we're just gonna hit, we're just gonna kind of give it a good uh, give it a good hit. See if we can just hit it straight. Here, but that's fine. All right, that's going to go in for Eagle and get a little extra special scream in there for the Screaming Eagle. We're going to eat under par. Uh, we're going to ride the wave here, essentially. Oh, no! It's a bad shot, but at least we got a, a little bit around the corner. Uh, so if we kind of look up and over, if we can kind of get it to jump in here, it shouldn't be too bad. Come on. Ugh, too much. Give it a little too much here. Uh, and we will try and hit it straight. There we go. Okay, so right ahead, uh, over here is another one of those uh, balls I've already found. All right, we're moving on to hole number 16. This should be a hole in one if I can get it up over the donut here. Too much. Too much, Bob. That's too much, Bob. All right. It's not even going to go in. I'll get in the lip. It's a, it's a pity clap for par, is what that is. Look how, look how gorgeous this is. It's kind of like this whole scenery. Um, and this is just the first course. Like, there are so many other good courses uh, to look at. So, all right, this one's dangerous because there's no lip around here. Uh, so, yeah, you really give it some oomph uh, to get it across. And that was too much oomph. Try it again. Is that enough, enough oomph? Oh, I just barely got it on. Seven under, we're on hole number 18. So this has gone pretty quick. Uh, if you're just kind of playing on your own, uh, I play a lot of these kind of 
you know, just kind of over the every, uh, play some every uh, during the week. All right, we got it down the lip here. So this is going to go down this ramp. Let's see if we can go to the stairs here. Uh, it's going to kind of come down and land in this area. Uh, and then you're going to have to kind of keep traversing the uh, this, like, network of ramps. So we're going to kind of hold it here. And it goes to this next level. You're never really lucky enough. This is the last one, right? Yeah. So this one's going to go, we're going to put it from here into this spot. It's going to go all the way down to the green there. Uh, kind of one last picturesque view before we uh, finish up on this course. So let's go over and try and put into this area. Oh no, something happened. Just get over the ridge. That was kind of out of my boundary, so it... Uh, didn't like it. That's okay. Uh, so we're going to go head down there. Wait for the ball to pop out. Here it comes. And then one last putt. This is a par six, and this will be stroke number five. There we go. There it is. We went eight under par. I uh, shot 49 on a par of 57. Uh, all these little check marks are the uh, all these little check marks are the balls that I found so far. So lost balls. So I still have uh, balls to ball find on the first four holes. So let me go ahead. Let's go over to hole one real quick. I'll kind of show you see if we can see if we can find that lost ball. Uh, so we, sometimes you just kind of have to look around. Um, is it, you know, is it under something? Is it behind a rock? Kind of look to see if anything's out of place, and there it is. There's the ball. Kind of looks like an Easter egg. So you kind of pull down on the trigger and fix it up. You can look at it and see the new ball you got. So we'll uh, we'll kind of come back out here. It's gonna hold too. See if we can find the second one. Um, I would have imagined. That it would kind of be over here. There it is. Got it. I thought I had grabbed these before, but apparently I hadn't. So, there you go. So, we will uh, head back. We'll go out to the main menu. Uh, and where it drops you, it'll show you uh, coming out of this little tube. It'll give you the two new balls that you've earned. Uh, and, yeah. So, that is uh, the 18 holes of Tourist Trap. Uh, we'll be back next time. And we'll play, uh, we will play Tourist Trap Hard next time. Uh, but for uh, that, we'll go back to it. All right, so that was Walkabout Mini Golf. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed it, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, a uh, shout out to uh, Walkabout Mini Golf's Twitter account, uh, which we'll put on the screen here. Go check them out. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time when I do another 18 hole course. I think next time I want to do the hard version of that course, so be sure to check it out. And we'll see you all uh, next time. Bye.